Hello and welcome to this session in which we would look at a governmental accounting exercise or it could be considered a quasi CPA simulation that's going to ask you to prepare journal entries that deals with budgetary governmental accounting such as estimated revenue and appropriation. So we are going to be giving the estimated revenue for a government, their appropriation, revenues, encumbrances, estimated encumbrances, actual expenditure, increase in appropriation, and we're, we're asked to journalize those entries. So we're going to go ahead and journalize each entry separately, starting with estimated revenue or the legally budgeted revenue. Now, how does it work? Well, the government will meet and they will decide what is their estimated, their future revenue based on a budget. And here's what the government decided, this local government. Property taxes, 5641 Sales taxes, 4830 License and permit, and other miscellaneous expenses. So what entry do we make? This is basically a budgetary fund balance entry. What entry do we make? Well, we add them all up, and if we add them up, they will add up to 12471000 What do we do? We debit. Estimated revenue control. This is a budgetary account. Not revenue, estimated revenue. Notice it takes a debit, and we credit a budgetary fund balance. Think of a budgetary fund balance as equity, and that's why it's taken a credit, and credit increases on equity. So this is the first entry. Now, at the end of the year, once we close the books for this period, we have to re we have to do the exact opposite and remove this estimated revenue for the same amount, regardless what the revenue is, because this is a budgetary fund balance. Now, also, we have an estimated revenue ledger, and from the sub-ledger, we debit the various revenues, which are property taxes, sales tax, license, and miscellaneous revenue. So this is because this is a budget. This is the budget. That's why it's a debited. This is estimated revenue ledger, not revenue ledger, the estimated revenue ledger. Now, the next thing we're going to look at is appropriation. Now, yes, great. They estimated revenues, but the government will also have appropriation. And basically, the government lives for their appropriation. They want to spend the money, right? That's why they are there. So for appropriation, they have government, general government appropriation, 5285000 Cultural and recreation, four million two hundred and ten. That's pretty generous. Health and welfare, one million dollar. So this is how much they are planning, planning to spend on expenditure. Remember, the government we use expenditure. So now, just like we estimated revenues, we have an entry for estimated revenues. We have an entry for estimated expenditure. What are we planning to spend the money on? Well, we debit budgetary fund balance. Basically, we reduce the equity, the opposite of revenue, and we credit an account called appropriation control. Appropriation, basically, what are we planning to to expense, basically expenditure. And if we add them up, they add up to 10495000 Now, it's a good time to kind of basically show you what's going on with this government. Their expenditure are 10495000 their estimated revenues are 12,471. So they, est they are estimating to bring revenues 12,471 and their expenditure estimated to be 10,495. So all in all, if you just want to kind of take a look at this number real quick and find the difference, we find out that they're going to have a surplus of 1,760 or excess revenues over expenditure of 1,900,000, 1,976,000. This is the, this is based on the budget. This, if everything is realized, they're going to be very happy with this. They should be happy, or at least. Now let's take a look at the third entry, revenue received in cash. They received property taxes of 5,545. Well, they estimated to be 5,641. They were only able to collect 5,545. Some people don't pay. Many reasons. Well, that's the, that it doesn't matter, but this is how much they collected in cash. Sales tax, they estimated 4,830. They were able to collect 4,700. Less people purchased, therefore they have less sales tax. License and permit, 1.5 million. The actual was 1.7 million. That's good. More more people are asking for licenses and permit. Miscellaneous revenue, half a million. They come up at 800,000. Well, now we need to journalize this entry. Well, it's all received in cash. The government don't have credit, really. They're going to debit cash 
12,745,000, which is the total. And we're gonna credit revenue control. This is actual revenue. Notice here, it's revenue control for that much. Now on the revenue ledger, we have a revenue ledger. We're gonna credit property taxes. Notice this is the actual revenue. This is the revenue that we are comfortable with revenue right this is revenue notice the balance is credit this is the subsidiary ledger the estimated revenue the balance are the estimated revenues the balance are debit but again we're going to close them eventually with a credit at the end same thing with appropriation appropriation basically it's expenditure they take a credit first and eventually we will close them to zero at the end of the period so this is the revenue now let's take a look at encumbrances. Encumbrances issued include salaries and other reoccurring items, governmental fund, 5275 If you remember here in, in the appropriation, when they set up the budget, they said we are planning to spend on gov general government, which is fire, police department, other stuff, 5285 Now they are starting to encumber the account, en encumber those amount. What does encumbered mean? It means allocate them, set that money aside so no one uses it okay so for the government they are encumbering five million eight hundred five million two hundred and seventy five which is they are encumbering ten thousand dollar less for cultural and recreation they estimated four million two hundred and ten for some reason they're gonna they want to spend more four million six hundred and thirty health and welfare one million and now they're encumbering 905 so what this encumbers it means they decided this is how we're going to spend the money. That's all. They decided. Now, since they decided exactly how they're going to spend it, they're going to have to say, take this money out of the appropriation. Now, just basically, we know that it's encumbered. It's reserved for this expenditure. All in all, we reserved 10810 10, This is all in all. Did we spend the money yet? Not yet. We just kind of encumbered. It means kind of restricted it. So eventually, when the purchase take place, we have the money available. So no one spend the money somewhere else. We debit a budgetary fund balance called reserve for encumbrance, and we credit an account called encumbrance control. Now, they have we have an encumbrance ledger, and we have we have those amounts as credits in the encumbrance ledger. Now, after we encumbered the amount, we encumbered the amount. That's the notice. It's estimates. That's how much we estimate. Now. We spend the actual money on general government. The estimated was 5,275. We actually end up spending 5,285 for cultural and recreation. So here we spend $10,000 less than when we estimated. But basically it was based on the original. The original budget was 5,285. We end up spending that much. I don't know why, why we encumbered less. Maybe we thought we were going to get a discount. Maybe we made a mistake. We don't know. For cultural and recreation, uh, we encumbered 4630 we end up only actually spending 4610 And health and welfare, we estimated to be 905 We spent a little bit less, and the original budget was even a million. So somehow there's a lot of savings in health and recreation. So once you spend the money, actual, actual expenditure takes place. The first thing we have to do is we have to reverse the encumbrance. What does that mean? It means whatever we did in transaction four, when we set up the encumbrance, we have to do the opposite. Let me show you. In this entry, which is entry five, we debited budgetary fund balance, credit, encumbrance control. In, in, in transaction four, we debited budgetary fund balance and we credited encumbrance control. So four and five are the opposite. So the first thing you do when you, when, when, when the transaction takes place, when the actual transaction takes place, for this estimate, you have to reverse it. You have to reverse whatever you did. You have to reverse. Then we have to account for the actual expenditure. Now we account for the actual expenditure. If we add up all the expenditure, the actual expenditure here, they they add up to ten million seven hundred and eighty-five thousand. So notice we estimated ten million eight hundred and ten. The actual expenditure was ten million. 785 so we debit expenditure not expense those are basically in quote expense for a regular business but expenditure for governmental accounting so we have an exp expenditure control and we credit cash for this much and we since they are expenditure they take a debit in the subsidiary ledger 10 million 785 now the government decided to have a budget revision they decided to increase the appropriation for general government 140,000 and cultural and recreation for 110. 
just basically they met and they said, you know what, we are going to kind of spend a little bit more on, uh, we need a little bit more money. So we increased appropriation. What entry do we make? We debit budgetary fund balance, we just want to spend more money in total of 250, which is 140 and 110. And we credit appropriation control 250. Again, this amount goes under the appropriation ledger as a credit. Those are expenditure, but future expenditure, but they take a credit in the budgetary accounts. Once we are done, we're going to look at a comparison and see the numbers, what, what it looks like. And by the way, just FYI, our beginning January 1st fund balance is 753 and we had no outstanding encumbrances. So let's take a look at our comparison. The original amount for, this is starting with revenues, the original amount for property taxes was 5641 We did not change this budget. The actual amount that we received was 5445 We had an unfavorable variance. We received less cash from property taxes. Sales tax was 4830 The final budget was 4830 We did not change the budget. The actual amount was 4, $4.7 million. We Again, we received $130,000 less. The original budget for license and permit was $1.5 million. We did not change it. The final budget was $1.5 million. The actual amount was $1.7 million. This is good. It was a favorable variance of $200,000. Miscellaneous revenue, the original amount was half a million. We did not change the amount. And the actual amount was eight hundred thousand. Somehow we received three hundred thousand dollar in miscellaneous budget, miscellaneous revenue. We need to know what's going on there. Now for total revenue, this is the original, the final, the actual, and overall, we had a favorable variance of two hundred and seventy-four thousand. Now when it comes to expenditure and encumbrances, we have the general government. The original was five five million two hundred and eighty-five. However, if you remember, we increased it by one hundred and forty thousand. You know, why? I don't know why we kind of increased the budget. We wanted to spend more. The actual spending was 5285000 Notice this 140, we did not really spend it. So we thought we were going to spend it. We did not spend it. We, we put it in the budget. I don't know. Maybe somebody made that decision. Cultural and recreation. Originally, we budgeted 4210000 Then we increased it by 110 in transaction six. The actual spending, actually we even spent more on cultural and recreation. Therefore, it was unfavorable variance because, I'm sorry, it was, um, yes, unfavorable variance because we even spent more, 4610000 Health and welfare, we budgeted originally a million. We did not change the budget. The actual amount was 890 Therefore, we have a favorable variance because it's less expenditure. Now, total Expenditure, the net is, uh, let's go from, let's do the total, the original 10,495. We increased the expenditure. The actual amount was 10,785, was even worse than we expected. And it, it all has to do with cultural and recreation. Somehow we, we overspent on that. And the net amount is negative 40, unfavorable. Now, again, the access, the original was 1,976,000. 1, then the, the final one was 1,726,000 because we remember we increase our expenditure by 250. That's going to reduce the excess of revenue over expenditure. And the actual was 1,960,000. Not bad. Overall, we have a positive variance. The fund balance at the beginning was 735 plus the change equal to the ending. 1726 plus the change equal to the ending. Same concept here. So hopefully you went through this whole exercise and see the effect of numbers what should you do now go to farhat lectures and look at additional multiple choice true false exercises that's going to help you with governmental accounting whether you are a cpa candidate or an accounting student governmental accounting is an extremely important concept good luck study hard and of course stay safe